Welcome to Hidden Spotlight Movie Reviews, Avengers, Infinity Wars. I hate to cut to the chase and spoil your fun, but this flick is nothing but brainwashing the unwashed masses on depopulation. So I'm here to give you a warning, a warning to all parents who homeschool your kids, all the smart parents, stay away. This movie is an elaborate 2018 propaganda film that cost $400 million to brainwash your children into thinking that there are too many people on the planet. And like a herd, it needs to be thinned out. Well, that's my warning to all the smart parents who homeschool your kids. But now we go to all the parents who work for the government. Please. I implore you, make sure your little rugrats watch this expensive 666 gang production. Matter of fact, this is a must-see for anybody who wants to join the military-industrial complex. Bottom line here is, what we are talking about is leading the sheep to slaughter. So, enjoy your government checks. And at this point in the video, I must say, if you are a government employee or a Bible-thumping neocon, turn the video off immediately. Do not go any further. Go and enjoy your government checks and do whatever you guys do. But if you are a free-thinking American who likes your freedom, well, go ahead and continue to watch because it's going to get interesting. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration, instead of invasion, on subversion, instead of elections, on intimidation, instead of free choice, on informing and alerting the American people. Confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent. There are signs all around us that the world is getting impatient with the evil satanic 666 gang. All we have to do is open our eyes and our ears and listen to the winds of change. Today, we are going to hear the words of a Chinese admiral. His name is Lu. He gave a speech recently where he stated what this trade spat was all about. The problems between China and America and the so-called trade war and tariffs. The admiral put it down in simple words. So today we are talking strategics and logistics. The Admiral stated something simple and all the best game players keep it simple. Think game theory and the art of war. The Admiral asked a simple question. What does America fear the most? Casualties and American deaths. That's what he said. How can we confirm that the Admiral is correct? Well, that would be easy. By studying history. How did Ho Chi Minh defeat the Empire? He said he was willing to accept the loss of 10,000 of his men for every American soldier's death. 50,000 Americans had to die before we gave up. Ho Chi Minh established the playbook on how to beat the empire. And now for the first time in American history, I will disclose to you the 666 gang's top secret reason for the Vietnam War. It was nothing more than logistics. To have free reign and mobility over the South China Sea. So you will know 
that the empire is on its last legs when China takes full control of the South China Sea. That is the prize. Make no mistake about it. The shipping lanes that allowed the sweatshop princess Ivanka Trump to ship her Chinese-made products through the South China Sea all the way over to America and put directly on your store shelves so the unwashed masses could buy all this Chinese product and make the 666 gang richer than beyond anything your imagination could even decipher. Yes, this today is not a rant on how they got rich and you and I got poor. That's not the story today. But here now is the most telling part of Admiral Liu's speech. He said his anti-ship ballistic cruise missiles could hit a U.S. aircraft carrier even when in the bubble in protection of a defensive escort. So to be clear, the Chinese admiral was talking about when ships intrude on Chinese territory. So he goes on to say, the loss of one super carrier would cost America 5,000 lives. Sinking two would double the carnage. He then said, then we will see how frightened America is. The bottom line is, this ain't your Uncle BB's camel driving sheep herder opponent. No, we're talking about the big leagues here, aren't we? And the Admiral is curious. Are these Americans really as tough as they say they are? Do they really have brass balls? Well, I would like to make a note here. This is my opinion. When America gave up in Vietnam, our demographics were a little bit different than now. We were tough, streetwise kids like Steve McQueen and Charlie Bronson. Now, on the flip side, today our demographics looks like silly hipsters with earrings coming out of their assholes, and they are offended if I call them a snowflake. Now, who are you going to bet on? You see, if Steve McQueen and Chuck Norris and Mr. Majestic failed to beat little old Vietnam, can you imagine the snowflakes today striking any fear into big China? Well, if you believe that, well, maybe you have a bigger imagination than myself. So what is the title of our story today? Chinese Admiral Liu puts the fear of God into America. Intrude into our territory and we might just sink two of your super carriers and then we will go from there. Now there are two schools of thought here. The first school is the depopulation school and you know think satanic 666 gang and they think a confrontation with China is good. The other school of thought on this is the school of freedom and universal basic income. And well, our school thinks, <laughs> hell, this sucks. So in the next five to ten years, you will come to know without a shadow of a doubt whether this world is run by satanic monsters who live and grow off of misery and pain or... Is this a world run by people of honor who want peace and a universal basic income and freedom? Well, place your bets and run for the hills. And if you think I'm bullshitting about the 666 gang, and if you think I'm bullshitting in this story, well, I implore you, go watch their new propaganda flick or the latest, their latest movie that they are marketing to the snowflakes, their target audience. The movie is called Avengers. 
The Infinity War. Ho, 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 and the irony of the title. The Endless War. Infinity War, yes. The irony. And the hero of their little propaganda flick is a depopulation god on steroids. So after watching their latest propaganda flick, then you come back and tell me that there is no 666 gang. And then you leave a comment after you watch that brainwashing psyop.